The HLS-5 is a lightweight, electronically controlled high voltage detector. It is designed to detect the presence or absence of normal operating voltages as well as induced voltages on utility system lines. The HLS-5 utilizes both audio and visual signals to alert the operator that voltage is present. The visual indicators consist of four banks of lights, each bank having four individual lights. Each bank represents a specific voltage level. By observing which banks are active, the lineman can determine the level of voltage present. The audio indicator operates simultaneously with the first bank of lights. The unit is calibrated for line-to-ground voltages of 600, 2000, 7000, and 11000 volts. The banks of lights flash alternately so that it is easier to distinguish the number operating from a distance. Also located on the display is the power indicator. This green light serves two purposes. First, it indicates the unit has been switched on and is in the operating mode. Secondly, it indicates the battery is good. If the battery voltage drops below the usable value, the power light will go out. The HLS-5 will operate for approximately 8 minutes from the time it is first switched on until it turns itself off. This 8 minute timer will reset itself every time the on switch is depressed and every time the unit senses a voltage. It would therefore stay on continuously if it were placed on an energized line. When the unit is first switched on, all lights and the audio alarm should come on. This is a built-in test feature. One at a time the lights will extinguish, starting first with the 11,000 volt bank, then the 7,000, and finally the 600 volt bank. The 600 volt bank goes out, the audio alarm will also go out. Only the green power light will remain on. The unit has passed the self-test and is now ready to be placed on the line. The HLS-5 is designed to connect directly to the energized hardware. It is supplied with a hook on one end and a standard universal fitting on the other. For the purpose of this film, we've connected it to a test line so that we can vary the voltage and demonstrate the various displays. First, we will show the display you get if it were connected to a line that was more than 600 volts but less than 2,000 volts. At this level, you would get the first bank of lights. This would be the display you would get on a normally operating 2400 volt system. If we were connected to a 14.4 kV system or a 34.5 kV system, we would know that we have more than 600 volts of induced voltage but less than full system voltage. Next we will take the voltage up between 2000 and 7000 volts. This will activate the first two banks of lights. Again, this would be the indication you would get for a 4800 volt system or a 7200 volt system if you had full system voltage. Again, if you were testing a 12 kV, 25 kV, or a 35 kV system, you know you have more than 2000 volts, but certainly less than system voltage. We'll now raise the voltage up between 7,000 and 11,000 volts, which will pick up the third bank of lights. This would be the normal operating voltage for a 12,470 volt system, 13.8 or a 14.4 kV system. Again, this signal would indicate induced voltage if you were testing a 34.5 kV system or if you were working on a transmission line. If we go in excess of 11,000 volts, which was what we would see on a 34.5 kV system, a 24.9 kV system, or any transmission system that we might be working. 
If all four banks come on, we know we've got an excess of 11,000 volts, and more than likely we have our full system voltage. There are some situations which will cause an extra bank of lights to come on or to slightly desensitize the HLS5. Anything that affects the electric field around it will have this effect, such as installing it close to grounds or close to another energized phase. We now have the HLS5 hooked up on a line simulating a 13.8 kV line. Notice that we do get all three banks of lights flashing. We will now put a jumper around that and change the electric field to see what effect it has. Even though we have the same voltage applied, we are now inside a loop of wire made by the conductor on the top and the jumper wire on the bottom. Because we are inside the loop of wire, we have lost one bank of light. Again, at the same voltage level, now instead of having the three lights we expect, we're picking up four banks of light. The reason for this is the unit is installed very close to an insulator that has a grounded base. Both of these problems can be alleviated by making sure you test the line away from other hardware or energized hardware or grounded items. label supplied with the HLS5 indicates the voltage levels for each one of the banks of lights. It also lists for reference purposes the corresponding system voltages. The HLS5 comes complete with a carrying case, instructions, and a battery. The battery is a common 9 volt alkaline battery and is easily replaceable. Adapters are available to allow the HLS5 to be used on 15 through 35 kV underground systems. These adapters allow the HLS5 to be placed directly on the underground bushings. Due to the proximity of grounds on underground equipment, the HLS5 will usually have one more bank of lights lit than would be expected when used in an overhead system. Because the induced voltages are not as prevalent on underground systems, customers have not found this to be an operational problem. For more detailed information on this product, please contact your local representative.